They had more than 7,300 here last night. Another huge crowd tonight, and it's 93 out of the shoot. And then only three other starts until today. That is the Big 12 Tournament Velo, 95 from Robinson. He was getting some run, also getting some fade on it, using the cut fastball as well. Chases one, and it kicks away from Dylan Maxey, who caps the K. It's the type of stuff Kags was doing yesterday with all that movement himself on the mound. Yes. Yep. Oh, Brandon Sproat says, get on out of here. As to how he's trying to deliver the baseball. Dots on the inside corner. We got two aces who are cooking. That was a 91 mile an hour changeup. <laughs> 0-2 on the ground up the middle and in the center field the base hit. Kevin Bazell is the first base runner of the ball game and it feels like there might not be a ton against these starters. Time all year hitting higher than fifth. Pops this one up in foul ground. Colby Halter and Wyatt Whoa. Langford converge and Langford got it. Hey now. 3-2. Heyman swings through a gorgeous changeup. Folks, strap in. It's going to be a fun night. A testament to their work ethic and being able to stay healthy throughout the course of the season. Nasty changeup from Brandon Sproat to strike out Austin Green in the five spot for Tech. And almost looks like a fastball. I think I can hit it. And so many times I'll be out in front and swing and miss. Change up to start. Gavin Cash, one pitch, the third out. One, two, three for Sproat. Payoff to Shellnut. And it's high. 95 upstairs, first Florida base runner. Yesterday in the regional opener for the Gators. And Halter drops one down. Bazell fields on the run and got him. Cut on and missed. Kyle Robinson's fourth strikeout is out number two in the third. Popped up toward first. And Gavin Cash looks into the sun and wins the battle. 2-2. Maxey pulls it on a line to left, and Langford makes the leaping catch. Try to get him in my zone. Fastball dotted at 98. First time through the lineup, 4Ks for Brandon Sproat, just like Kyle Robinson. Right there with the likes of, you see, Dylan Cruz and Wake Forest star Nick Kurtz. Chopper up the middle, Curland backhands, throws off balance, and that's 1-2-3. Three. 3-2 two, three. Three, two change. Let's see what it is, 0-2. Oh, Hit hard on a heater to right center field and back toward the wall, and it one hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Wyatt Langford was ready for the fastball, 1-0-3 off the bat. Now Jack Caglione, first pitch swinging, a roller into the shift, and Cash flips off the glove of Robinson. Frankford holds it third. They're at the corners for the Gators with nobody out. Robinson's 1-0. Rivera to right at Zach Vuletic. Langford tags, Vuletic's throw is late. Gators lead. Really nice job of Rivera right there, staying back on the off speed. Here in three and a third. 3-2, runner goes, and it was a change. Served into left. Hester's on the move, and he runs it down. They can double off Caglione, who's standing at third. And this will be an easy one for Texas Tech. They keep it out of the sun. They get the double play, and the inning is over. 3-2. Bazell walks, Sproat wanted it. Ninth pitch, Green skies it. Deep right field, shell not back, and Texas Tech leads. 425 for Austin Green. And the at bat right there, that's a professional at bat there from Austin Green, fighting off some pitches, Inner half of the plate, he's trying to come in on him. Does a nice job of trusting himself, letting the ball get deep. 
Get another look at this thing. That ball's absolutely turned on. That smoked out there to right field. You see Shell not going back, and that ball's just ripped. Now Zach Vuletic grounds out to Colby Halter. Hard hit ground ball center field and a base hit for Tyler Shelna. One out knock in the fifth. One two. Hard hit. Diving bid but it's past Green into center. Shelna goes first to third and Florida's got him at the corners with one down in the fifth. Got good personnel on the bases too. He does square and he drops it down. Maxi gets to it. Nobody covering third so they're loaded. Loaded up one out. The 1-1. One, one. Curland on the ground towards second. Green flips. Burns turns and it's two. And two heavyweight programs. Alongside Xavier Scruggs, I'm Mike Monaco. And Gavin Cash goes first pitch hunting to begin the bottom of the fifth. And it's number 25 for Gavin Cash. This is what we've seen from Gavin Cash all season long, right? Just being able to launch baseballs. But you think about yesterday's day, not necessarily the best offensive approach, not getting to some of the baseballs and some of the mistakes that he saw. 3-2 is gas pass still in Maxi. One away back to the home run. Yeah, let's go back to this thing because this was a certified biscuit right over the middle of the heart of the plate. Sprout knew it. Cash knew it. But he remembered that at bats. Hester shoots one past Colby Halter, and it's a two out base runner. Because that one got past Halter in the left. Payoff again. Ball four. Sprout deals. Strike three calls. Ahead and behind in the count. Breaking ball down. Langford a leadoff walk. All of Caglione's home runs, it has quote unquote dried up a little bit for him recently. Opposite way, struck well. Hester back at the wall, tied up. 29 for Caglione. We saw Caglione yesterday do it with the power arm. Now coming today with the power bat. And I want you to get another look at this thing because it's a calm setup. Head down on the baseball, backside rotation, and boom. Check it out from the side. You see the explosion. One, two again. Hammond pulls it down the line to the wall and off the wall. He motors to second with a two out double and he just missed the lead. 0-2, oh, back foot and it hits Shelda. That's where Maxi sets up, 1-2. Fastball on a line to center, Harrelson is there, heading over. On a 2-2. Two -two. There's the off speed. Now he's coming to himself. Vuletic pops one up to Cade Curlins. One, two, three, and a fired up Brandon Sprout. And everyone's watching tonight. Patrick Mahomes chimed in 42 minutes ago. Hits him. Caglione homered off free. First pitch swing and he pops it up. Maxi sheds the mask. Can't get it. So an 0 1 from free. Caglione, center field, back toward the wall. Caught by Harrelson. Oh, man. And that Abner's been turning into the guy we recruited him to be. Another breaking ball, and it's bounced up the middle and past Rivera into center. Second hit for Gavin Cash, and it's a leadoff base runner. 2-2. Two -two. Hits Burns, he says. And he does here. 
to load him up for Gage Harrelson. Abner's 1-2. Got him! Two down. If Abner mixes in the off speed, you might catch him be a little bit over aggressive. 3-2. Strike three calls! And a walk to lead off the eighth inning for the Gators. 3-2. Back door. The throw does not get Rivera. Now here he is playing for him. On the ground, gently to third. Bazell ends the inning. Gavin Cash had to go low and hang on to that thing, and he did. Show for three, a couple of pop-outs to the middle infield. First pitch swinging, hard hit, single to left. 109 off the bat. The payoff. Cash in the air to center. Robertson bolts back to the wall. It's gone! Cash money! And we just mentioned it, right? 3-2 count. Cash already seeing the ball well, in a position to do some damage. On the number two overall seed, Dylan Maxey rolls it at Rivera. We go to the ninth. 2-2 two -two pitch. Halter on the ground to second. Green gobbles. One away. Seventh pitch. Thomas, well struck. Right center field. Back toward the wall and off the glove of Harrelson. Thomas motors around second. No throw. It's a triple. The 1 1. Curlin on the ground to second. One run game, two outs. Lankford to the plate. Two pitches on the edges. Lankford on the ground to short. Burns collects. Lankford beat it out. Caglione pops it up against the ship. Bazell was up the middle. He's got it. Texas Tech wins. Texas Tech again is in a regional final. And now Florida goes to an elimination game at home here in Gainesville.